Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this uh, on the Thingiverse Finds issue. So, one of the things I was looking to do is print a stand for my cell phone. Actually, uh, uh, I've got it here. It's a 5S with a Mophie case. Well worn at that. But I uh, uh, wanted something that, that would allow it to sit uh, in portrait mode. Uh, because I have it set, and what I do is I use this in in handoff mode to my other devices for actually work. So I make and receive calls on this, but not this device itself. You know, I take them either on my iPad or my uh, MacBook Pro, etc. So, but again, it's nice to see it like this. And I also wanted something in in the bottom. So what I could do in this case. Um, uh, it would work with the Thunderbolt, but uh, in this case, I have uh, it has a USB micro USB connector, and so that I could set the the micro US still plug it in with the micro USB connector, and then it would uh, sit on the uh, stand, sort of like this, and then it comes out the uh, the bottom. <clears throat> so, anyways, that seems to work out work out uh, pretty good. So happy with that. Now it also for smaller tablets. Uh, for example, you know, I have the Android uh, tablet. Uh, I forget which one this is. However, even with this, with the, um, if I get the right end here, this will, this will again work. As you can see, it'll sit in here and it uh, comes out the bottom. So, I was really happy with this. Um, but then, one of the problems I did run into was... The 40 pin connector so i've got a number of the well for example um older ipads ipad minis and, and apple phones uh because i use this one actually for a lot of the videos that you guys see um, and, and i and it's got the 40 pin connector on it as you can see and the problem is is that doesn't fit it won't fit through there so it's designed for more of a thunderbolt usb or smaller one so how did i fix this I went ahead and I did a remix and opened it up for the 40 pin connector. So now um, it easily sits in there. I just did this in Tinkercad. I brought this STL in and uh, simply opened this up. Now I did put this as a remix on, on Thingiverse and I'll have the link down below and if you follow me on Thingiverse you've probably already seen this. Now one of the things I've been very impressed with this and that I did want to cover out is the actual design that Catsoft did. Now. One of the things in, in your first occurrence of creating something like this would be to create what I would call linear bends. Uh, and that's when I, when I refer to kind of like a linear bend. In other words, you take the same thickness of material and just bend it around. But what he's done is actually strengthened each one of his joints. And he's done it tactfully where it looks very attractive. So I, I, I'm really happy with that. And that also comes down in here into the fingers. So he's done a very nice job, and I think this is worth noting, you know, if you're going to design something of your your own, uh, to take this into account, because one of the things it does is has very little spring in this motion. There is a little bit, but it's not much, and it's really due to this, what I call filleting in of this um, radius. So he's did a nice job, and again, aesthetically, it looks very nice. So again, pretty happy with it. And again, so this holds this. And again, I can hold this. And so it, it's a really a good combination. And again, it's thick enough to where even with the Mophie case, it'll fit in there. So as you can see. And then also for smaller tablets. <clears throat> now, I don't think I would recommend... Um, you might be able to sort of get away with a full-size tablet. It's kind of tipsy. Um, let me pull this a little bit forward so you can see. It's a little bit tipsy. Um, so I don't think I'd go with a full-size iPad. However, smaller Android tablet works just fine. And I think this would be great, um, again, because of the angle of everything for Skyping or something like that, or an iPad mini for FaceTime, because you have the camera right up here. And um, I think it would do a very nice job for that. So, anyways, um, again, I'll put this guy's uh, link below. I'll put the link below to both the original and my remixed version down below. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up in the comments. Also too, if you have something on Thingiverse you'd like me to take a look at, give my opinion on, you designed it, um, kind of want to show it off, uh, 
hey, hit me up below. Happy to do a review, take a look at it, and see what I think and see how it works. So, again, thumbs up. Cheers. See you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.